In a previous tutorial, I showed how to make balls bounce around using Python script. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make balls bounce around purely using the physics engine. The balls are inside a bounding cube, so the first thing I'm going to do is make the cube. I'm going to go to File New, and with the default cube selected, I'm going to go to its properties, and I'm going to set the Y scale to be 8, the X scale to be 0.2, and the Z or Z scale to be 8 as well. I'm going to change the X location to be minus 8. Uh, now as we make the faces of the cube uh, we won't be able to see through them unless we change the display to wire. Uh, I'm now going to do shift and D to duplicate the cube and I'm going to change the X location of the duplicate to be plus 8 in the X direction. So now we've got two, two flattened cubes which form two faces of our cube. I'm going to do Shift and D followed by Enter to make a duplicate. In the Z or Z rotation, I'm going to type in 90 degrees. Uh, for the X location, I'm going to put 0, and for the Y location, 8. I'm then going to do Shift and D and Enter again to make another duplicate and change the Y value for the duplicate to minus 8. And now all we have to do is the top and bottom faces. I'm going to do Shift and D and Enter to duplicate another face. I'm going to change the Y rotation to 90 degrees and I'm going to change the Y location to 0 and the Z location to 8. I'm then going to do Shift and D and Enter to make another duplicate and change the Z location to be minus 8. And there we have our complete cube. I'm going to change Blender Render to Blender Game Engine and I'm going to go to the physics property of the selected face and change it to invisible. And I need to do that for all the faces. I'm going to add mesh UV sphere. I'm going to change the layout to game logic. I'm going to close the properties and zoom in with the mouse wheel. And I'm going to add a keyboard sensor that will detect the press of the letter S for start. I'm going to add an AND gate and I'm going to add a motion actuator. Now with the sphere selected I'm going to physics properties and I'm going to change the physics type to rigid body and when you do that you get these additional dynamic object settings and I'm going to change the linear velocity in the X direction to 10 so that when we press the S key the sphere is given a velocity of 10. I'm going to toggle perspective and dragging with the middle mouse button just change the angle to about there. I'm going into the world settings and I'm going to put the force of gravity down to zero. Then I'm going to go to uh, render and start the game engine. The ball floats in space. I press S to start. It's given a velocity of 10. It collides with one of the walls and its velocity is reduced. I'm going to make the sphere and the walls out of a more elastic material. I'm going to select a wall and go to material properties. Now all the walls were made from the default cube which had the default material which I'm going to rename elastic. 
and I'm going to scroll down to the physics properties and uh, change the elasticity to 100%. I'm going to select the sphere and link the sphere to the same elastic material. Now if I start the game and press S, the sphere bounces off the walls and not, not only does it not lose any speed, it actually gets gain speed and that gives it positive feedback which makes the system unstable as you can see and eventually somehow it breaks out of the cube which uh, defies the laws of physics. I'm going to do shift D and enter to duplicate the sphere and pick up the tip of the red arrow of the 3D manipulator widget. Shift D and enter for another one. Same again, tip of the red arrow, move it down. Shift D and enter and back. Shift D and enter and that's one more. There we go. Now I'm going to the uh, material properties and I'm going to reduce the elasticity. I'm going to put in a value of 0.98 and see if that is stable or unstable. Render and start and press S. And the system is quite complex now so the results are unpredictable and sometimes it's stable and sometimes it isn't but we have a set of balls bouncing around controlled by the physics engine that's the end of this tutorial I'll put the file created at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye